Hello, and welcome to another episode of Nerd Leading the Nerd. I am Seth. This is my co-host, Drew. What's up? And today, we are covering the classic, the amazing, the infamous movie from 1975, Jaws. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Okay, but before we do that, we are going to ask that you please, please hit the subscribe button. Yes. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. Drew, I think I'm going to start this episode off by reading a brief synopsis of this movie for the folks at home, the one person watching this that may have not seen this movie ever. <laughs> it could be some. It could be a few. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. When a killer shark unleashes chaos on a beach community off Cape Cod, it's up to a local sheriff, a marine biologist, and an old seafarer to hunt the beast down. I love it, dude. That's I mean, basically it in a nutshell. Dude, it is, that is one of the best we've, we've seen. I mean, uh, you do miss out on the, uh, the light banter from the, the locals. You miss out on uh, some of the, the fun little hijinks of the race to capture the shark. But um, but that's that's fine. You don't really need to you don't really need to cover that stuff. That's just the the color commentary, if you will, uh, regarding the film. That's just the filler. <laughs> it's just the filler. It's the filler to get us from point A to point B. Uh, so this is a movie that you've definitely seen before, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Many times. Uh, but it's has it been a while for you? It has. Yeah. And okay. I, I can't recall like the last time I sat down and really like unpacked this movie. See, this is something that I have to watch every 4th of July around that time frame. It's a, it's the summer blockbuster that started summer blockbusters. And I don't know, dude, it just kind of gets me in the mood for beach cocktails, uh, stuff like that. Drew, what was your, what was the shining moment for you in this movie? What was your favorite part? <sighs> okay. I absolutely love, it's early in the film, uh, when... Richard Dreyfus shows up, the Hooper character, when he shows up, it's, you know, first of all, he's definitely the, like, little fish in a big town, a big big fish in a small town kind of thing. You know, like, he, he gets off the boat, and he's on the pier, and he's standing there, and there's just this giant in comparison guy. And he's just, you know, what are you doing here? And he's like, oh, hey, I'm with Oceanography, you know, and, thing. Mm-hmm. and he's just so excited to be there, and he has no clue what is about to happen. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, that, I immediately fall for that character and just the, the guy that he's, he balances being a nerd, but being an action hero as well. He's an action nerd. And I love that. I, I strive to be an action nerd of yeah. sorts. Yeah. So anything involving him, but especially that introduction where, you know, Brody is just freaking out. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. And Hooper kind of comes in as like, don't worry, dude. We got this. Yeah. So I respect that. I appreciate that. What about you? I love the teenage beach scene where like <laughs> everyone's making out and yeah. you know the two lovebirds. You know they 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 break off from the pack and they decide they're going to go for this like. What, leave us a comment. Let us know. Was it night or was it dawn? Right, dusk they, or dawn? Because we couldn't figure it out. Yeah, there's a moment where you can see the sun in the distance. And uh, we definitely had an argument of whether that was, was was end of day, beginning of day. Yeah, so, but regardless, they go for a night swim. Sure. And, you know, the the young lady ends up being the first victim that we see anyway. Yeah. Uh, from Jaws. And it kind of starts, kicks off the movie. They later find her, find her body, R.I.P. Uh, there's some good trivia when we get into that about that particular... Ooh. section of okay. the movie. But yeah, I really I really enjoy that. And, you know, I, I think it go, probably goes without saying, but any of the scenes where Quint, the drunken sea captain, if you will, um, goes the off The Jack on, Sparrow of his day. Yeah, goes off <laughs> on his, like, drunken <laughs> tangents. That That's also uh, shining moments as well. Sometimes that shark, he looks right into you, right into your eyes. You know the thing about a shark, he's got... Lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. We started this in our last episode 
where we talked about things that maybe we didn't like. I, I don't have a ton here, but I was just curious if you like. It was there anything that you were like, man, I really don't like this part of the movie. I I really don't like. I I'm not gonna say this is the perfect movie. I'm not gonna say that because there are a few little pacing hiccups, things like that. But yeah. I would say that this is the quintessential movie of summertime. Yeah. And every time I see it, I get the flashbacks of being a kid seeing this movie, going on the Jaws ride at Universal, oh, yeah. uh, having that experience of just, you know, being on the, the tram or the boat or whatever, and it just comes out of the water. I, I just, there's, there's nothing but good vibes yeah. for this film for me. You know what always freaked me out on that ride was when like the fire like the explosion happens really hot and you're like uh, you're like in orlando uh, it's... Yeah, it's even worse yeah <laughs> uh yeah and now it's time for trivia with seth and drew the part of the show where we blow your minds with movie trivia all right drew i've got a couple of trivia nuggets for you here are you ready to lay it on me dude mind blown yes okay I'm so ready first things first Several decades after the film's release, Lee Fierro, who played Miss Kintzner, walked into a seafood restaurant and noticed that the menu had an, quote, Alex Kintzner sandwich. <laughs> she commented that she had played his mother so many years ago, the owner of the restaurant ran out to meet her, and he was none other than Jeffrey Voorhees, who had played her son. They had not serious? seen each other since the original movie shoot. That's awesome. So it was it his restaurant? It was his restaurant. Dude, that's where amazing. Where he named a burger after his former character in Jaws. Yeah, his own death scene, essentially. Making a funny, making light of child shark murder. If, if we can find a picture of this burger, we're putting it in the episode because uh, now I'm, I'm getting a little hungry. Seafood burger or just regular burger? We'll have to find out. You'll know or next, not. Next up, Drew, did you know when composer John Williams originally played the score for director Steven Spielberg, Spielberg laughed and said, quote, that's funny, John, really. But what did you really have in mind for the theme of Jaws? End quote. Spielberg later stated that without Williams' score, the movie would have only been half as successful. And according to Williams, it jump-started his career. I, absolutely. I, this, this was actually something that I did know. Yeah. Uh, being a fan of John Williams, you should know that this was the beginning of the epic tale of amazing music that has come after that. I mean, every movie of like the 80s and 90s, there was a John Williams score. It was either John Williams, Danny Elfman, and, and maybe a handful of others. We ha we mention this every single movie that he does the score. That's like the glue that holds the movies together. Yes. And upon like revisiting this, you know, it is so simple, but just so effective. Na, 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 na. And you're like, <gasps> you know, da, and, na, na. You know, and how just... many people have ripped that off oh, for yeah. other movies, other shows, like every time you see something, just a little hint of something, and they're coming after you. It's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. It's it's iconic. Like, it's... it's He's he's amazing. He's yeah. he's the reason this movie also gives you that. Like, yeah, it's so exciting. Love it. Love it. All right, last, last piece of trivia here. According to director Steven Spielberg, the prop arm looked too fake in the scene where Chrissy's remains are discovered. So instead... They buried a female crew member in the sand with only her arm exposed. <laughs> I did not know that one. I did not know that either. And I kind of feel bad for whoever got like buried fully in the sand. I mean, d we, 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 we've got to check IMDb. Was she credited? Ooh. Was she credited for just having her? Because, I mean, that's tough. I mean, that is a featured extra position. So if she's not credited, uh, for shame. Yeah. For shame. Well, that's it for trivia with Seth and Drew. Um, okay, so final thoughts on this. I know we're 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 kind of cooking on on this one. Um, so takeaways. I mean, we both really like this movie. Um, let's 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 put it in this in this light. For somebody that this has come out long before they were born, 
And this is not something that they would traditionally go for. They're not really into scary movies. And this is kind of a horror film. I feel it's a little tame, but you know, I, I also have seen some horrible things in my life. <laughs> Um, so would you, how would you recommend this movie to someone that is completely fresh, never seen it before, and was always curious about watching it? I would say the pacing is a little bit slow compared to modern standards. Yes. But there is nostalgia there. Yes. I don't need, I don't think you have to have seen it before to just like feel the nostalgia because I only say that because it's been referenced so many times in, in more modern movies. Yeah, that's movies true. And, and whatnot in TV shows and, and like people, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like when people wear band t-shirts of bands they don't know any songs from, you could wear a Jaws t-shirt and never have seen Jaws. It's like that sure. iconic of like a movie poster. Yeah. So yeah, I would say you got to watch it. It's like, it's on the list of movies that you have to watch before you die. Yes. On the hundred movies uh, to watch before you die. Uh, Jaws is Jaws is there, and I I believe Jaws inspired Shark Week. Oh yeah. I mean, there's there's no reason why this shouldn't be something that you watch. The, the I would say the the there's there's a few gory scenes, a few bloody scenes. Oh, oh. Smile, you son of a. But. If you're familiar with gore now, it's very different than the gore that they have in this movie. Um, it's it's kind of clear that it is uh, like red paint, you know, especially in, in HD. Yeah, yes, there's some red paint moments. Um, Watch it on VHS or Laserdisc if Ooh. you're if you're available, you know, if you've got it. <laughs> um, but no, I, I think I think this is definitely a, a must watch for absolutely anybody that's out there. Uh, so, what is your out of five rating? Off the off the cusp here, I'm yep. gonna rate this a four point seven <laughs> out of five. Okay, so my initial thought, my 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 initial thought was four point eight, Ooh. and I, I I feel like I'm always one upping you at least. That's all right. Um, that's all right. But that's it's such a good movie. I would watch it again right now. Yes, right now. I mean, do you want to watch it again right now? We should watch it again right now. Yeah. Uh, so uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Put your stuff down in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to come back soon. Because we'll be waiting. And watching Jaws. <laughs>